OK. OK, so this is the tree that uh, uh, Laura uh, based the animation she did. Um, I'm going to explain how I did this rig for this tree. Uh, in this case, the idea is using this control, you can change the size of the tree. This is how the trees grow up. And the trick of this rig is that you can control how uh, big is the, uh, the tree and the thickness of the trunk this way. So one thing is when I start with the, this idea, uh, yeah, the, the most difficult part was how I can control the size of the trunk and the thickness using a control. Uh, for example, here, if I use only the scale, this is what happened. The, the trunk of the tree uh, changed, but the deformation is not the deformation I want. Uh, when I move the tree like this, what I want is that the branch move in this direction not in this direction. So the scale doesn't work here. This is uh, using a rig. This is the idea. When I move uh, the trunk like this, it's going up, the branch move in this direction. And when I change the uh, thickness, the branch, you can see that the branch changes in this direction. So you can see here, the rig. Okay. And now I'm going to explain how I did this, this rig. So I'm going to do the same, but with this uh, simple tree. So I'm going to hit hide all this and use only the this part. So the first I'm going to do is create a bone that I need to use for the trunk. Maybe something like this to here. And uh, I'm going to group these uh, bonds and use the group as a target, change the group as a target to use as a control. Using Y, I'm going to move this control here. And now I can use this group as a control to move or change uh, the tree. So the next thing I'm going to do is weight the trunk here using the big bonds. And I'm going to add this, the main group, as a, uh, the, the first bond and the second, the next. And with the vertex in this case, because I start with this, uh, this all these vertex are blue. So what we need is change this. I'm going to use 50 50 here because it's in the middle. And for this, for the last uh, 100 for yellow, that's like this. And other thing I'm going to do is change uh, the length of this, maybe 20, something like this. So now I have this trunk that I can move different way. And when I change the side, you can see that the trunk move and the thickness of the trunk like this. OK, the other thing I need is something for the, the branch. So for that, I'm going to add a new bone, maybe something like this. No. Maybe here. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to group this bone change to target and use this target uh, here Y and move. I'm going to move here in this position and make sure that this bone is in the uh, zero, zero position here. Okay, so I have this, oops, the only thing I need is add the branch. So I'm going to move this here and nest the branch here. 
So you have this part. Good. The other thing I'm going to do is, uh, because the idea is when I, when I change the size of the trunk, what I need is that the branch move with the trunk. So I need that this new uh, group follow this part. And for that, one thing I'm going to do, I can nest all this in this, but I have the same problem uh, before. So what I'm going to do is add a new group. I'm going to rename this uh, target. I want to rename budget A. And I want to nest this bone to uh, this bone here. I can use this or this, whatever, but I can use this. So I can to nest this here and change the position to zero, zero. Now this target is in this position. I can use whatever position I want, but in this case, I want to use this. And to connect this part to this target, I'm going to use a constraint. In this case, a translation constraint. And using uh, as a target, this target I create like this. So now when I move, change the size of the trunk, the branch follow the trunk. I need to fix this part, for example, this here. So I want to open the vertex mode and maybe this here. Okay. Now I can change the side and the branch follow the trunk. But when I change the uh, thickness, uh, the brands, the, the, nothing happening in the brands. So for that, what we're going to do is select the bone of the branch and add a constraint that is a scale constraint and use as a target this bone, for example. So now, when I change the uh, thickness, you can see you can see nothing because it doesn't work. <laughs> Let's see here on the target is this bone. So now when I change, you can see that I can change the thickness of the trunk and the branch at the same time. So I can change the size exactly Let me like this. The size and the thickness. So this is a simple way to create a ring to control the size, the tall, and the and the thickness of the trunk. The other thing is uh, you can see here in this example. Oops. In this example, when I play here, okay. When I move this input, you can see how the different leaf appears in different moments. So to do that, what you need is add the leaf, uh, in, in this case, in this branch, in, in this part of the trunk. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start with this. It is in the position I need that is 100. Okay, so bones. So what I need is when I move the trunk of the tree, the leaf uh, follow the branch in this case. So for this, the same I did with the branch. I'm going to group this branch, these leaves move here and using a new group if it's going to add uh, this group to this bone of the branch so here here and in the position I want is here 
And for this, so this is the I'm going to add a constraint, translation constraint, that the target is this target ID. So in this case, when I move the trunk, the leaf follow the branch in this case. And the same for this. In this case, through this leaves the center and the same. I'm going to create a group. Leaves the center projects. And in this case, I'm going to add to this, to this, to this bond here. And we can change this to zero, zero, and move the position I want here. And for this, the same, add a constraint, transition constraint, and use a, as a target this new group we did. And that's it. This is the rig of the, of the tree. Uh, into this and okay this is the if you have any question uh, you can ask guys okay so the other thing is uh, this one detail is this uh, texture of the trunk so for that here in this example you can see uh, what happened when the tree is grow up, the texture is moving to up. Here you can see this uh, this way. Um, yeah, this is 100. Okay. This is a shape with different path and is clipping with the trunk. Okay. So I'm going to group this uh, shape and change this as a target and bones and move oops this group to the same position here as the as the control here. So now what you want what you need is that this uh, texture follow uh, follow this trunk, but in different speed, not in the same speed. So what we're going to do is add a constraint, in this case, translation constraint here. And I'm going to use as a target the brand, the limit here is the target I use for the branch that is this. So now, when I move the tree, the texture move with the with the trunk, but move at the same speed. When I need this chain here in the constraint, change this, for example, uh, four hundred. So this way, this is what happened. So when the tree is like this and don't have a texture, when they start and in other moment, it's like this with the texture. Okay, so now we have the uh, the rig. I'm going to show you how I create the the machine for this. In this case, this is more complex. But here, I have uh, all the different animation I need and different layers. One layer for the uh, trunk, how the uh, trunk uh, changed the size, and uh, different layer for uh, each uh, uh, leaf in this case. So here is more simple. 
What I'm going to do is start with the trunk. So I'm going to hide the bones. And I'm going to start with the first animation. The first animation uh, I'm going to run in, in and is when the tree is small. So maybe I'm going to hide this and this. Okay, so here. Maybe is something like this. Okay, this is the first. And a new animation that is out. And here, maybe is something like this. Okay. And now in the same machine, during this layer motion, and I'm going to use a, a blame mode in this case to mix these two animations. So I'm going to connect this to the blame mode, and here oops, I'm going to use the in animation and the out animation. And I need an input in this case, a number input. I'm going to rename num. Yeah. And I'm going to select here. And I'm going to change the value here to 100. So uh, the animation is finished when the value is 100. So here, when I hit play, the animation starts in the small. And when I move the value, you can see how grow up the tree. Okay, so now the uh, the leaf. For that, I'm going to create a new layer and leaf. Oops. Leaf right. And what I need is a different animation of the leaf. So the leaf start in the first moment. Maybe is is no leaf. And in the final is a uh, leaf with one size in this case. Um, one thing we need to do, we need to know is how much time I want to change the size of this uh, leaf. For example, here. Oops. Here you can see, okay, you can see that the leaf changes one time two times, three times. So you can do in the time you want. In this case, I want to use in three times. So to do this, I'm going to start with this. Oops, I have a problem here. Okay, what happened here? What happened here? Let me check what happened here. Okay. Okay. Is this okay? Let me check here. Let me check. Yeah, it's working. Okay. So let's stop here. Yes. Okay. So what you need is uh, one animation. If I uh, zero, and in this case, the size of this, this is a very simple relief, but uh, the size I'm going to change to zero. So at the first, this is the size, it's no leaf. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this animation, and in a second time, one, because the final size of this leaf is uh, 100 here. Oh, oh, sorry, I do something wrong. Sorry, let me remove this. Oops, remove this, remove this, and go back here. I'm wrong here. 
because I animate the group. I, I don't want to animate the group. I want to animate the leaves. So, uh, yeah, in uh, position zero, in uh, the animation uh, zero, what you need is change the size to zero. Okay. Yeah, this is the only one. Now I'm going to duplicate this animation. Name once. So, because the final size of this leaf, uh, leaf is 50, and I want to I want to do in three times. Maybe in this animation, the one the final size is uh, 20, for example. So this animation need to start to from zero and finish in 20. 20. And what I want to do is a little bouncing. So uh, one trick I do normally to make a bouncing faster uh, is create uh, different keys with different size, and then I can adjust this size to make the bouncing more uh, better or, or not. So yeah, th this is the idea. We start in zero. So maybe here in 10, uh, because the final size is 20, I'm going to say that in this moment, the size is a little bit more than 20. So I'm going to say is uh, 40. So from zero to 40, and then maybe here, the size go back to, uh, because the final is 20, uh, this can be 10, the next can be here, and because the final is 20, maybe this is 25. And check this interpolation. And this is what happened. This is the bouncing from zero to, in this case, 40 to 10 to 25. And to 20. So I'm going to change the 40 because it's too much for 30. Check. And that's it. It's a simple bouncing. Now you can change, you can act, but this is the, something simple. So yeah, this is what happened in the animation in the, uh, in the one. And because it's three times, I'm going to duplicate this. And this is the animation two. And here, the final size, we say that is 50. And I'm going to do the same. This start in 20. So now, because the final is 50, I'm going to say that this is uh, 70. This is 40. And this is 55. And check, and this is the other. OK, so I have these two animations. Uh, the animation of the brand in the beginning, that is zero. In one moment, the uh, leaf move like this. And in other moment, the leaf move like this. So back to the steam machine. In this new layer, I'm going to do is add all these animations. This one and two here. And add transitions. Oops. Here. I'm going to start with this. So uh, to make this transition, I need a condition here. The condition, what I need to know is when I start with this is in what moment I want that uh, this uh, uh, leaf appears in one moment, in one moment. So uh, because we say uh, in, in three times, in two times, uh, I'm going to say, OK, here, because it's 0 to 100, maybe in 20 uh, appears the one leaf, and maybe in 60, the other. So here, in the condition, I'm going to add the input and here 
you want to say when the value is uh, greater than 20, jumped to animation one. And to go back, what you need is the same input. And when uh, is the value is less than 20 in this case, the animation go back. So let's try this. This is star in zero. The leaf is, is no leaf in this case. When I move the value in 20 appears the leaf and then go back, disappear. So this is working. The only thing is uh, the uh, moment that the leaf disappeared is too fast because I don't have animation there. So one thing I'm going to do is add duration here to handle to mix these two animation. Now the leaf appears and disappears. Okay, so I'm going to do the same with this to transitions and in this case the inputs uh, the value need to be greater than uh, we say 60 70 I went to 70 oops and for this the same is less than 70 and uh, because it's back I I don't have animation to back, I want to add a duration uh, to handle. And check. So you grow up, um, appears one time, and appears two time. Okay, so I want to do the same uh, with the other leaf here. I want to say the, the same. So uh, I need a new animation, leave center zero. Uh, in this case, using the shape, I'm going to change the scale to zero. Okay. Duplicate this animation, one. And um, here the same because the final size is 100. I want to, uh, uh, I want to animate this in two times. Uh, maybe this final size is 50. More easy. 50. So in this way, to the bouncing animation, very fast, because this, the final is 50. I want to change this to uh, 70 here. Is 40, oops, and maybe here is uh, 55, and add interpolation. Okay, duplicate this animation to number two, oops, and the same. This is 50 in this case. And this is 100. So this first moment can be 120. This can be 90. And this can be uh, 105. Check animation. All right. So back to the steam machine. I create a new uh, layer for this leaf here and add all the animations. Here, okay. Add transitions. And in this case, uh, I can use the same value of this uh, leaf that we use 20 and 70, or I can use a different. So I want to use something different. In this case, I'm going to say that the input, the value uh, need to be uh, greater than um, 30. And to go back, 
uh, is less than to 30. And I'm going to add a duration here, 200, and the same here. The value need to be greater than uh, 80. And to go back is less than 80. and the duration 200 so let try this this first this leaf and then the other and x in x and that's it this is the idea this is the basic idea you can create something more complex with this basic ring other thing you can do here because I have this ring, um, because I have this ring, and normally, as you can see, normally I group all this bone uh, using a group. So this way I can use this bone and animate something. I don't like animate the, uh, the uh, group I use as, as a target. I, I, I like to live without nothing and um, using this case the bone so this way i can improve a little bit the animation so in this case uh, uh, one thing i can do is uh, when the leaf appears that the branch uh, react to that so something simple that i'm going to key the final rotation here and here and maybe in this moment the branch move like this in this moment, like this, and for the other, I want to copy this key. Oops, copy this key, paste here, and maybe move a little bit, something like this. Add interpolation, and one thing I'm going to do is offer these keys to move at different times. something like this and because it's the same animation I'm going to copy these keys and paste here for the other animation and now you can check all this here oops it's grown up it's grown up Okay, this is the read, this is the idea. Um, I think it's very interesting to create something interesting. You can add you can add this read to a tree, but you can create other crazy things using this this idea. So yeah, this is this is the thing.